My name is Amanda Yargolaitis, and I live in the Johnstown, Pennsylvania area. I am a EDS warrior, which is Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, and that is why I am in a wheelchair. But I also use the term warrior because Christ makes me a warrior. I fight to find a way to talk to people about Christ, and I love to see people smile, and I love to see them laugh. When you have a disability, you have to find ways to cope. And for me, that was through art. And I really like drawing with charcoal because it's satisfying to be able to create something out of just one basic color. What I want for the drawing to be is a finished product that's gonna move somebody. It's kinda like God, he knows what we have the potential to become, but if I were to give up my drawing right here, it's not a finished piece, just like me, I'm definitely not a finished piece. <laughs> Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is a collagen deficiency disorder. It's not curable. It causes the ligaments to stretch and they don't work. That's why my bones dislocate up to 300 times a day. My lowest days are the days where the pain is so severe, my skin burns, putting on clothing burns. I started using a wheelchair at 21, but before that I was on crutches and braces. I had hundreds of people pray over me. I was certain God was gonna heal me. And every time God said no. I remember the one day I was sitting in my bathroom and I said, all right, God, if you're not gonna heal me, I need you to use it and I need help. And that was it. From there, I started to reconnect with Christ. I'm healed inside, and that's what's important. This, it'll be fixed in heaven. When I first lost my physical abilities, I lost a lot of my old hobbies. So I looked for new things, and I learned how to sew. And I mainly learned how to sew so that I could sew super simple things for shoe boxes. Operation Christmas Child Shoe Boxes is an opportunity to send a little box full of items. And it, the surface, it's just these school supplies and hygiene items. When a child first receives a box, a lot of them have never received a gift in their entire life. And then they're told that this stranger packed a box just for them because Jesus loves them. It just makes the world so much bigger and it connects people to Christ. <laughs> I have been doing Operation Christmas Child since before I can remember. Growing up, we packed a few little boxes by ourselves. And then as our passion grew, we started buying year round. One thing led to another and we got a box trailer. And it's always far too much for our family of three to pack. So we actually split it between two different churches, one church that packs about 800 boxes and one church that packs about 350 boxes. <laughs> it's, it really has gone from like this little thing, this little seed to this big thing that my family like just loves and strives to do. I would encourage anybody who hasn't packed a shoebox to just get up and do it. Stand up, pray about it, and say, okay, God, I want you to use me. Just challenge God to use you and give him that control. And a lot of times that'll lead you into places you've never imagined. And for my family, a lot of that is shoeboxes.